Hello my data science friends, hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Divyansha Gruwal and you're watching Tech University. Today I'll be talking about yet another data science course that is offered by University of Ottawa again, but a different one of course. So in this video I'll be talking about the admission requirements, program requirements, what are the course structure, fee structure, scholarship options if there are any. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this course. And if you like the course, please subscribe the channel and share it with your friends who are looking for data science course, might as well be helpful to them. So if we talk about this University of Ottawa, uh, we won't go into the university profile because I have made a separate video on that as well. So you can go watch the other course video from the University of Ottawa. But in this course, this is a little bit different from that one. This goes by the name of Master of Computer Science Concentration in Applied Artificial Intelligence. So I guess University of Ottawa has got an obsession for long names. Huh? Anyway, jokes apart, if you talk about this course, so the degree offered is MCS and the language of instruction is English. There is no French this time and the expected time is two years. So you can consider it a full time two year master's course and uh, look at the departments that are offering this course. Faculty of Engineering, School of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and Ottawa Carleton Institute for Computer Science. So this is something different I will be telling in a bit. So this particular course is designed by the University of Ottawa and the School of Computer Science at Carleton University, which is yet another top Canadian university. So what they have done is they have signed an MOU uh, under the name of Ottawa Carleton Institute for Computer Science or better known as OCICS in short. So what they have done is they have come together. They have mix their expertise and they have come up with few courses which are offered under this particular partnership. So this is one such course which is offered under this partnership others being in civil engineering electrical engineering which we won't go into. So this is where this uh, Carlton University and University of Ottawa comes into play as partners. If we talk about the admission requirements for you to be eligible for this particular course you need to have a bachelor of science degree with honors in computer science and you need a minimum average of B 70% is the minimum uh, criteria that you that they require and apart from that they have one more requirement from you. You need to identify at least one professor who is willing to supervise your research. So basically this is a research based course, although you have an option to pursue a project based course as well, but irrespective of that, you need to find a professor who can supervise your course. So you need to reach out to them way before you apply for a particular course, tell them about your interest, get them to know you and uh, your research interests and get them to interest in your research interest or maybe you show interest in their research fields so that uh, they could be your potential supervisors. If you talk about the language requirements, you need to have English proficiency. If you don't, I mean, if the first language is not English or you haven't studied uh, in an institute where English is the primary language of instruction, then you need to provide the language a proficiency proof. If you talk about the India specific equivalencies, yet again, this is same as the MTTI course. So for masters, you need to have either a bachelor of three years and a masters or a four year bachelor or a postgraduate diploma irrespective of the number of years you have studied in your bachelors. So these are the three main classes that are eligible for this particular course. And the minimum grade required is yet again the same 61% of the passing grade is 35%, 64% of the passing grade is 40% and 70% of the passing grade is 50%. If we talk about this program's specific requirement is the deadlines for international student for this year was 31st of January. So more or less uh, for the next year as well, it will be 31st of January as well for the fall intake. And uh, this course is available in full time, part time English thesis based option is there and major research project or paper is there and minimum requirements is you need to have a B plus as I told you you need to have 70% in your bachelor's degree and average time to complete is six terms six terms is equivalent to two years so there are three terms in a year fall winter and summer and the application fees for this particular course is 110 Canadian dollars as well so if you convert it into Indian rupees, it turns out to be 6,350 INR as of the current rate. Apart from that, you need two recommendation letters. It can be from your professor or from your manager if you have some work experience. You need to have the transcripts of your bachelor's degree. And if you have done a postgraduate diploma, you have to have the transcript of that as well. For English language proficiency, if you don't lie into any of the categories that I told you earlier, you need to give the test and for TOEFL you need to have an IBT score of 88 or 89 out of 120 and an IELTS score of 6.5 and 
for individual you need to have six in each of the subsections of the IELTS test. The required documents are letter of intent. So in the previous video with the MDTA there was no specification of letter of intent but here they have specifically written that they want letter of intent that could outline your career goals and a proposed research area. So in maximum one or two pages you need to outline your career goals and your proposed research area in which you are gonna uh, do the masters. So they expect you to have that research area in applied AI. So make sure you make a letter of intent in a way that uh, highlights your career goals in line with the proposed research area and that too aligns with the applied artificial intelligence. And there are two different forms, preference form and additional forms. And you need a resume as well, of course, that is mandatory. So let's just see about the preference form. So what is preference form? This is the preference form that they have given. So this is a form that is prepared by the OCICS that I told you about. So in this, you have to select the option like this and uh, you need to fill up this form with the name. So you are going for this particular course. MCS program concentration applied artificial intelligence. Here you have to give the supervisor name right and you can find the supervisors from this list i will share this list as well you can see so if we go into the computer science department so these are the people who can be your probable supervisors and uh, you need to also specify two choices i mean in the applied ai in which research domain you are gonna work so these two will be considered as your uh, choice for specialization one of these two could be a base for your research thesis and if you also see uh, the another form the the form that was i was talking about additional form so this is the additional form so they need some details from you on your grades in your bachelor so these are the courses on which they need your um, specific marks so discrete structures it's a mathematics subject uh, your grade and the maximum possible grade in that particular subject data structures data structures algorithms too and formal languages basically automata and databases computer architecture operating system and software engineering all of these subjects are taught in the btech computer science curriculum so you don't need to worry you just pass your grade and the maximum possible grade in that particular subject this is the form that you have to fill apart from that if we talk about the program requirements so this is the program requirement these are the courses if you are going for masters with thesis you are gonna submit a thesis into the department so you have to complete three units of machine learning course and our ethics for artificial intelligence of three units and apart from that there are optional courses worth nine units right and three course units you have to complete from the theory of computing three course units you have to complete in software engineering and three course units you have to complete in computer applications or in computer systems there is a choice so and apart from that there is a master's thesis that you have to complete this is for the masters with thesis option and this is the accelerated stream we don't need to go into that because this is something for the people who are already into the university of ottawa studying there so you don't need to go into that basically who are doing bachelors already there so this is for them and masters with coursework and project so there is an option for you to go for the masters with coursework and project rather than going for a thesis but anyway you will have to go with the supervisor so in this you have to complete the same two courses compulsory courses are the same six units apart from the compulsory courses you have to complete 12 course units from the uh, list of artificial intelligence courses and six units you have to select from the computer science unit uh, out of which you can select three course units from theory of computing three course units in software engineering and three course units in computer applications or in computer systems and there is a six unit intensive graduate project in computer science so this is you have to complete in in lieu of the thesis and uh, again the co-op option is also there but uh, we won't go into this uh, this is when you get admitted to the university of ottawa and you can always get the information once you are already there and there is another option for you as well so suppose you are doing masters you have got into the masters program and you even pursue to go to the phd program as well while you are studying for the masters there is an option for you to fast track your course from masters to phd but this is when again when you are already in the university of ottawa so you can talk to your supervisor about that they will get you more information rather than me sitting here in india so you can always look into that as well if you are looking for a phd as well and the passing grade for all the courses is b of course so this is a very 
competitive course and you need to get B in every course. As for the fees, again, uh, fees is calculated using this uh, dynamic calculator. So I selected uh, the session 21-22, the latest one, regular student, full time, international student is my status in Canada and uh, the master's courses I'm looking for. It is in computer science and I want the fees of all the three semesters, three terms, of course. So it turns out to be 30,000 66 Canadian dollars for three terms and if you convert it into Indian rupees it uh, converts to 17 lakh 61 thousand Indian rupees and uh, in that you have all this university fees all the UPAS fees basically for traveling you can travel with the UPAS anywhere in Canada you want without paying any penny for that student services are there in this group health insurance are included in this university health insurance included in this all the things all the fees students association fees incidental fees all of them are associated with this fees already so this is the fees that you have to pay for three terms so if you complete the course in three terms this is all you have to give and if you complete this course in six terms we'll have to pay of course the double of this particular amount now if we talk about the scholarships there are some scholarships the differential tuition fee exemption is not uh, for this particular course because this is for the people who are studying the course in French but this course is offered in English so we're not going to talk about that a special merit scholarship is something that the department decides on itself so suppose you send in your application and the department finds it really good so they will put you into a scholarship bucket and they will let you know in the offer letter that whatever scholarship amount that you will be getting receiving one time from the uh, department for studying at University of Ottawa and again there are some external awards as well Ontario graduate scholarship uh, I have told you about this particular scholarship in the University of Waterloo video you can go check it out and there is Mitex global Inc. fellowship as well so you can go check it out as well and apart from that teaching assistants and uh, research assistants are an inseparable part of every top uh, educational institution so you can go check it out as well you can be a ta or ra based on your interest and there is a good chance that you can act as a research assistant in this course because this is a thesis based supervised led supervisor led research based uh, master so you can have a chance to be a research assistant and work on cool different projects state of the art uh, technologies and uh, very distinguished professors and again association of professors of the university of ottawa award so this is something that is uh, selected by the professors themselves so every year the professors are asked for some specific students to give them the scholarship and they nominate some students and based on that you get the scholarship so this is also you can get maybe your supervisor gets a chance to nominate uh, one of their students so you can be one of them and apart from that there is some work study program as well that is going on in the university of ottawa if you aren't aware about this i have explained this in the previous university of ottawa video you can go check it out uh, there is a recommendation on the top you can go about it now suppose you have gone through all the course and what are the things in this course right now you are ready to apply so what you have to do is decide a program you have already decided after watching this video check application deadlines you have to check i mean i just gave a tentative deadline uh, but once this application opens you need to check the application deadlines you meet the admission requirements of course if you have come so far you meet the admission requirements you have to gather the required documents that have stated already and uh, lors letter of recommendations you have to complete you have to gather and any language proficiency requirements so now you know about the language of language proficiency as well and upload your documents on the submission portal you have to upload the documents and finally you have to select a thesis supervisor so i have given the list as well to you so you can go check the supervisors as well so this was about this particular course if you like this course go apply to this course and let me know if you're selected I'll be really happy that I could help you guys and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel I keep posting this kind of content more often than not and you will see some more videos coming along your way in the coming future so stay tuned with the channel and you subscribe the channel if you like the video as well might as well share with your friends who are looking for data science courses because that would be helpful for them as well so I will be coming up with another data science course in the next video till then au revoir.